Hey guys, my name is Thomas and in today's episode of Zen How, I'll be showing you some great tips on wide angle photography. Maybe you're asking yourself why we're talking about wide angle photography today. Well, I'm holding the new ASUS Zenfone 4, which is not only equipped with the latest technology and high performing specs, but it also comes with a dual lens rear camera that includes an industry leading Sony 12 megapixel camera and a 120 degree super wide angle lens, which is totally unique to the Zenfone 4. The wide angle lens provides a 200% larger view than the camera of a regular smartphone. This allows you to pull way more into the frame and add some drama to your photos. What are the main benefits of owning a wide angle lens? First of all, it's great for landscape photography as much more can fit into the frame, thereby giving the viewer a better sense of the landscape. Second of all, it's perfect for capturing architecture as whole structures can easily fit into the frame of the image without any cropping. Third, it is excellent for use in small spaces like a small room, a cozy bar or your favorite cafe. The wide angle lens captures much more of the surrounding area, thereby providing a better sense of space. And fourth, it also works very well capturing large groups of people. I just told you about some of the practical uses and benefits of having a wide angle camera. Now, let me show you how to create some beautifully engaging wide angle photos. Something that's really important to remember is that having a wide angle shot with everything in the frame doesn't necessarily mean you will get the results that you want. Make sure to have a subject that really catches the eye, like a cool object, something colorful, or a person. Now, just because you can fit everything into the image, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should, because sometimes less is more. It's real easy to add too much information to a photo, making it feel too busy. You make sure that you decide what is most important and eliminate everything else. Using a wide angle lens allows the photographer to have fun and play with the reality a little bit. As you can see, all the objects are of equal distance to the lens. Because of this, there is no dominant subject. When we move closer to one of the objects, Let's see what happens. You can see how the wide angle lens makes one of the objects stand out, really adding weight to the picture. This draws the eye and makes for a more interesting image. Well, we're almost at the end of today's episode, but before I say goodbye, let me give you some essential tips of how to access your camera quickly and easily. Asus has built in touch gesture functions in its NUI. To enable touch gesture, go to settings. ASUS Customize Settings, then Motion, Touch Gesture, and turn it on. As you can see here, it has given us a bunch of useful options, like drawing C on the lock screen to directly access the rear camera, Z to launch the photo gallery, and gesturing W to up to date weather information. All right guys, that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to leave us comments below. I look forward to seeing you again at the next episode of ASUS Zenhao. For now, thanks for watching.